Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie. This is my Crafty Den, and I am going to decorate a spread from September the 12th to the 18th in my Happy Planner. And I am going to use something different. I've mentioned numerous times that wall stickers would be really great to use in your planner for a, a spread. You would just have to manipulate them a little bit to make it work. And I have this beautiful, they come on a strip like this at the dollar store and they're called Main Street Wall Creations. And these are jumbo peel and stick stickers. And this batch here has England, France, and Italy in here. So England, France, and Italy. So London, and Paris, and Rome. I'm assuming that's the Colosseum, right? I'm, I have never traveled, so I'm not positive about it. But these are absolutely fabulous. Now, a little bit of a story here. My grandmother was from England and met my grandfather when he was wounded while fighting in France during the war. And um, I'm not sure if either one of them was ever to Italy or not, but yes. But for today's stickers, I am, I'm going to break these up, guys. There's enough here to do three separate planner spreads. There really is because these are so huge and I am going to use the ones that are specifically for England today. Uh, so I'm thinking this section, maybe this one, the bicycle, the Union Jack Hart, um... Just a few little specifics and then the pink flowers that are on here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to manipulate these stickers so that I can do a spread. Let's just see what happens. It's a process, guys. Sometimes you can't be absolutely positive what you're going to end up with. So I'm going to set my planner aside. Now... I have my scissors close by here, and I think I'm going to start by using this great big sticker right here. Where am I going to put it? I think I'm going to do this. Let me see. I think what maybe what I'll do is do this. I'm going to cut... the top half of this page off. So just so that I can see what I'm working with. Sometimes you have to be able to visualize it. And if there's too much stuff in the way, then that makes it a little bit difficult. So I should be able to just tear this down the middle like that. So now I still have all of these. I just know I can't put too many of them on here or it's not going to work. So on the, maybe over here on this side, the first thing that I have to do is find my sidebar box for my Wordle scores. So I took a peek through a few books and back to this recipe book, I have this weekly menu planner. I've used this before. And the reason I'm going with this color is because of the color of these flowers. I am going to cut the top right here, leave just enough of that color, cut right under the word menu, and go straight across the top there. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it down for my Wordle scores. And I'm just going to place it... right here.
like that. And I am going to write Wordle. at the top of the page right there. And I just did it in pencil because I'm not sure what color ink I'm going to use yet. So I can go over that with a flare pen. The bicycle I think is gonna go on this page. I'm gonna put most of the decor down at the bottom and I'm going to set it so that the bicycle tires are almost at that spot. And I'm gonna put this down like that. Now these are, these stickers are like a vinyl bat, but they're a paper, they're a matte paper. And I'm pretty sure that I could still write over these, maybe with a permanent marker or something like that. Um, I haven't tried yet. And I'm gonna put this one Oh gosh, I got to put it so that the bottom shows because I usually cover this up, but I chose these stickers and this little blurb at the bottom says, never let your mind tell your heart not to wander. Maybe I'll put this up a little wee bit so I have room for my list at the top and I can still put my TV show down at the bottom and I can go slightly off the page like this and then just trim this. These stickers are really cute, really cute. Okay, so I'm wondering if I have any washi at all that would go with these colors. A peach would be really pretty or a mint green would be really pretty. I have this teeny tiny little thin, there's not much color to it, but a tiny bit. And I, I'm, it's just a little bit of leaves, but it does match the little bit of leaves that's right there. And it does match them well. So I am going to put a little strip across the top there. I'm not going to put any headers on this week. I'm just going to make my lists. So having a little bit of washi at the top kind of defines where those lists are going to start. Just a little bit like that. There's not much and it doesn't take away from anything. There. So I have that. Now it's London, England. And I think I might have to put my lists on here first. So I'm going to go back to the recipe sticker book. And I have these peach ones here. I also have these orangey peach. They're kind of a peach color, but they're an orangey color. I don't think that's going to work, though. I have these green dots. Maybe I'll just go with the rose gold this week. I have a lot of them. So I think I'm going to just do this and I'll be back when it's done. I'm just going to put my dots down here for my checklist. And that I do that week after week and it it's boring for you guys. So I'm just I'm just going to get it done. So So 
So checklists are done. Now I have a little bit of decor that I can put around. So this is, of course, London, England. So but I think I'm going to just kind of reconfigure this sticker a little wee bit. And I'm going to just There, like that. And I'm going to add it right across the bottom there. So you can see like that would have just run right into that sticker if I had I've used it there. But I can still use the England. I'm just going to nicely trim around this as well. Like a word sticker does not have to be that big. There, so that's trash. I need a little bit here. Like that. And that little bit there is trash. So I have my word England. And I am going to put it up here like that. So basically for me to make this functional, like you might be done here if you need all this room to write. But I have... House of the Dragon. So only a couple of things that I have to write down. So I put my House of the Dragon down here. I put my Trash Day down here. Only two things this week that I don't want to forget. <laughs> Not much, eh, guys? So I love this little lamp post. I'm going to stick it right here. These are wall stickers, so they're repositionable, which is really great. And I have the Union Jack heart that has to be on here. It just has to be on here. Um, here, like this. Yeah, I can put it here like this. And I can join those two together with that, which I think is really cute. And then all I'm going to put on here for extras is a little bit of pink floral there. And I think there's one more on here. And I'm going to put that one on right there. These are jumbo stickers. You don't need very many. I think all my colors tie in together. So choosing this pinky peach colored uh, strip here for my sidebar ties the pink flowers in. This is just kind of the highlight that pops. Nothing else matches this red and navy blue, but the bicycle, the little bits of green here, the little bits of green in here are tied in across the top. I need a color to write with this week. And yes, I think I'm gonna use this green and the for my trash day, my house of the dragon and for my wordle because it's going to tie in with these little bits of green and move it around the page a bit. So, so that's it. I have everything I need on here and I think that this green ties in nicely. So I'm gonna put it back in my planner and I'm done. I'm done. So that was a really quick, easy, and pretty way to decorate my planner. I just love that this quote down here 
fits the theme so well. Never let your mind tell your heart not to wander. I may never get to England, but it's in my planner. So that is fabulous. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you'd use wall stickers in your planner. Or would this take up too much room for you? Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that now before you leave. And I'll see everybody in the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now.